This screencast demonstrates a sample design analysis homework problem for estimating the diameter of an absorber column used to separate a light hydrocarbon feed. From the problem statement, the column utilizes sieve trays that have a whole area of 10% and 24 inch tray spacing. The problem also states that we can assume 80% of vapor flooding velocity and a foaming factor of 0.75. Specifications for the liquid and vapor phases are also given. In order to calculate the tower diameter, we can use the following equation, which is a function of several parameters. We'll start with the parameter G, which is the mass flow rate of vapor. The molar flow rate of vapor is given as 735.2 pound moles per hour. We can convert this into a mass flow rate by multiplying by the molecular weight of the vapor, 41.2. The parameter F was given to us as 80% or 0.8. U sub F is the flooding velocity, which can be found from the following equation. We can easily plug in the densities of the liquid and gas phases, but we need to solve for the capacity parameter C which is equal to the product of four other parameters. The first parameter, C sub SB, can be found via a plot of C sub SB versus F sub LG, which is the flow ratio parameter equal to the following equation. We can calculate the liquid mass flow rate L in the same manner as we solve for G, by multiplying the given molar flow rate by the molecular weight. G is the same value that we calculated before, and again, we can plug in the given densities. This gives us an F sub LG value of 1.156. Going back to the plot, at F sub LG equals 1.16 and 24 inch tray spacing, we can estimate that C sub SB is about 0.1 feet per second. The next parameter is the surface tension factor, F sub ST, which is equal to the surface tension in dynes per centimeter over 20 raised to 0.2 power. The problem gives the surface tension as 10.6 dynes per centimeter, so we can plug that in to get our F sub ST value of 0.88. The foaming factor, F sub F, was given as 0.75. For sieve trays, the whole area factor, F sub HA, depends on the ratio between the total hole area on a tray, A sub H, and the active tray area, A sub A. This ratio was given to us as 10% or 0.1, so we can say that F sub HA is equal to 1. Now that we have all the necessary parameters, we can calculate C, which turns out to be about 0.066. Plugging this into the equation for U sub F results in a vapor flooding velocity of 0.23 feet per second. Next, we need to solve for the ratio of the downcomer area to the cross-sectional area of the tower. This can be estimated using the following correlation. Since our calculated F sub LG is greater than 1, A sub D over A sub T is equal to 0.2. With our vapor density given, we now have everything we need to calculate the tower diameter. We must remember, however, to convert the vapor mass flow to pounds per second so that all units align. Plugging in all of our calculated and given parameters results in a tower diameter of 5.1 feet. For more sample design analysis homework problems, please visit the Lafayette CHBE YouTube channel.